Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find lower quartile and upper quartile for a set of data. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, hopefully you've been watching uh, the previous videos in this particular series. So hopefully you know how to find median. If not, go check that out. But otherwise, uh, we're going to start off with um, ordering the numbers from smallest to largest first. Once we do that, we find the median and then we can go about trying to figure out the lower quartile and upper quartile. So my first step here is to order these numbers from smallest to largest. So I've got 9, 10, 10, 11, 13, 14, and 15. Now, here I have the median, which is going to be the 11, because I know to find the median, I would go take the total number that are, number of numbers that I have, which is 7, 7 plus 1 divided by 2 is giving me the fourth number. So when I put it in order, the fourth number is the median. Now, to find the lower quartile, what we have to do is we have to look for the median of these two separate brackets, almost, or brackets of numbers. And that's kind of obvious in the first one, because in the first one you've got three numbers, so the middle number here is going to be lower quartile. And <clears throat> when you have 13, 14, 15, the middle number is going to be the upper quartile. So in this case, we can say LQ, which is just a short form for writing lower quartile. That's equal to 10. And then upper quartile is equal to 14, which again, we write the shortcut as UQ. Cool. Let's have a look at question number two. <clears throat> so we're going to order the numbers in uh, ascending order. So we've got 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, and 7. Now we need to figure out what the median is. And to do that, we've got 8 numbers plus 1 divided by 2, which is going to be, let's just kind of zoom this out a little bit, which is going to be 9 over 2, so 4.5. So we're look, looking between the 4th and 5th number. So if you look at it, and I kind of did this question before. Uh, we've separated the two, um, the, the set of numbers as two halves. And the number in between of four and five is 4.5. So the median in this case is also 4.5. I really should have picked some different numbers, but apologies about that. Now, as for the lower quartile, what we got is we're looking at these four numbers. Now what we've got is two, three, three, four. Now we've got four numbers together and we're going to do four plus one over two, which is five over two, which is 2.5. So we're looking for the number between the second number and the third number. But it's kind of obvious when you look at this because we've got four numbers. So the lower quartile is going to be there, which is going to equal to three. And as for the other part, we've got five, six, six, and seven. And once again, we're going to do that between the second and fourth number because that's now a second half, right? So that means our number here is going to be upper quartile. So then we can say the lower quartile for this is equal to three. The upper quartile is equal to six. Let's do one more example. And for this particular example, I've actually already ordered it and I put this in order. So if we look at it, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers that we have. So if we want to find the median, we're going to do 10 plus 1 divided by 2, which equals to 5.5. So it's between the fifth and sixth number. So here is my fifth. Now here's things where it starts getting a little bit tricky. So we want to find the middle of 12 and 15 because that's what the median is going to be. So to do that, we're going to do 15 plus 12 divided by 2. That's going to give us 27 over 2, which equals to 13.5. So this is the median. Now we need to find the lower quartile. Now the lower quartile for that first red bracket, which I'm going to highlight in yellow here, we've got five numbers there. So we're going to do 5 plus 1 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is going to give me the third number. And as you can see, this is going to be the lower quartile. And you can pretty much repeat that same process for the second half, which is highlighted in green. So I'm looking for the third number there. That's going to be 
my upper quartile. So lower quartile is equal to 10, upper quartile in this case is equal to 20. And that's just a quick summary of lower quartiles and upper quartiles. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.